In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add one of my favorite cravings to the menu, a delicious bacon and blue cheese burger. Within the global items definitions, we will click the add button and enter the name of the new item. Q's enterprise intelligence tool first searches for the item to avoid duplication. Yet another small feature that ensures data integrity when creating menus. We will configure this item as an LTO by setting the date availability from October 1st to November 1st. Next, we will set the base price to $9.99 and we will create a separate context for third party delivery so we can set a higher price to recoup some of the lost margin associated with this order channel and order type. Keep in mind that we are not duplicating the item, we are just adding a context. This enables accurate reporting in Q's dashboarding tools and exposes clean data through our open API for all our integration partners, whether they're injecting or consuming menu and transactional data. Next on the list is providing a mouth-watering customer-facing description. There are several other description attributes in this section for operational and production requirements. One of Q's POS superpowers is the ability to configure imagery that can be utilized in your digital ordering channels. In this case, we are uploading a single image file to be used in all channels. But keep in mind that we can support different images for different order channels. For instance, a low resolution image for a mobile app, a higher resolution image for web ordering, and a super high resolution image for your kiosk or digital menu board solution. And let's not forget nutritional information and dietary preferences. Q's enterprise intelligence was developed to manage all your order channels, not just POS. Does your current POS manage these additional attributes or are you forced to use another tool to keep up with the demands of your guests?